Welcome to Lessons with Troy. I'm Troy Brittany Meyer. Well, I wanted to give a quick demo of this new uh, resonator guitar, kind of mix between a lap steel and a resonator. I recorded a video yesterday of just a blues improv and got a lot of comments and questions about it. So I thought I'd go through it and kind of describe some of the different features. I actually bought this last year after watching uh, Megan Lovell's demo of hers. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, watch her. She does a great demo where she plays, you know, shows what the different pickups sound like and all that. Now, the difference between mine and hers is that I wanted to put what's called a hip shot back here to where when, when you flip it up, it's in open D, and you can see that here, right? It has this handle. And let's show you what that looks like, sounds like. So there's open D, right? And you can push that all the way down so it's kind of not going to poke your eye out. And then when you flip it up, like, right, put, or push it down like that, real smooth, and it puts it in open G. GBD, GBD tuning. So she had talked about in her video, and I'll mention it too, about the pickups. So it actually has three different pickups. It has two what's called magnetic pickups here, and then it has a bridge pickup. So these two pickups are both by Lawler. This is a Lawler P90 pickup. And uh, then this is what's called a gold foil pickup. And then... Uh, right here in the bridge, it has a, uh, a piezo pickup on the bridge. And it actually, the output of this can be split into st stereo, right? To where you can send the bridge pickup to one amp, let's say an acoustic amp, and the magnetic pickups to maybe like an, an electric amp with a little bit of overdrive. I just have it going out of one cable into my Kemper here with... A eh, fair bit of overdrive. I kind of like it a little bit gritty. And then how you control these these pickups, right, is it has two volume knobs. This back volume knob controls the volume of your bridge pickup. So with it all the way down, let me show you that, you're just hearing the magnetic pickups. So and this is, is your three-way switch where when it's pushed all the way away from you, it's the gold foil. And that... That without the bridge pickup sounds like this. Let me see what tuning I'm in. Let me put it in open D here. Sounds like that. Let me turn it up a little bit. Once again, that's the gold foil pickup. If I take the three-way switch and pull it towards me all the way, that's going to be the P90. Right, and then you can put it in the, in the middle, and then it'd be both of them. to bleed in the uh, the bridge pickup. It's probably going to be a little louder. <clears throat> I find that the bridge pickup is louder than these, so I kind of, you can kind of dial it in to, I'll show you what I mean. Here's both of them, both the magnetic pickups. You hear the volume go up. There's with the bridge pickup all the way. I'll adjust my amp. But I find that the bridge pickup kind of fattens it up a little bit, right? There's the bridge pickup turned down. Listen to the bass. Here it is, all the way off, bridge pickup. 
So I find those are those are pretty quiet pickups. Turn the, let me turn the overdrive down a little bit. So keep in mind, when this is down, that's GBD, GBD. So there's not, there's, there it is with not much overdrive, right? So the other thing is, is when this is, let me show you, when the hip shuts all the way down, you tune it with your regular tuners, right? But when you throw the hip shot into open G or push it down, now you've got these fine tuners and then you can fine tune your, your GBD, GBD tuning while this is down with these tuners. And then it does have a little bit of, of acoustic sounds. So if I turn everything off, right and put the, the microphone by the uh the cone there So a little bit of acoustic sound, not much. Def, you know, maybe if you're in a, a place where you want to be really quiet, you might, you know, enjoy that that much volume. But you know, you could mic it a little bit. I've thought about getting a clip-on mic, and just to get a little bit of that resonator sound back into my sound. You know, mixing it in. Um, I do have here. Let me let me fire this up. I do have a condenser mic here. And this is what I recorded, the setup I recorded yesterday. A little bit hot there. Okay, so let's fire this one up. Let's see what we got here. Right now I have it with both magnetic pickups and the bridge, and I'm miking it a little bit. Let me put this down a little bit more. With a Ear Trumpet Labs uh, large diaphragm condenser mic. So let me mute out the pickups. Okay, that's just the uh, this mic picking up the resonator. mute out the mic there it is now if I put the mic and the pickups together see how it adds a little bit of that resonator a little bit of the woody sound to it so let me turn that down a little bit without the mic difference let me just turn the mic off and 
get this out of here. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like, I, I really like this, uh, this gold foil sound. I find that in combination with the bridge is a neat combo. Here it is with that P90 again. Maybe a little bit more gas there. out my mic my talking mic and I'll show you what it sounds like thing is is check this out <clears throat> it's kind of cool with the uh with the nut there it has a roller nut so when you're you know using the hip shot uh you know the the strings can easily roll you know when it loosens and tightens over the roller nut and it also has my favorite locking tuners now let me show you this i was finding that when i'd play this on gigs and i'd be sitting down you you could probably play it standing up if you wanted i haven't tried it yet but i was sitting down and this thing was sliding on my lap so i use this stuff called cat tongue grip i've talked about it in other videos but it peels off really easily but use uh use at your own discretion i don't know if it's going to mess up the finish it seems to not as i pull it off but uh disclaimer there i don't want you to mess up your instruments put putting this on there if it does but i'm kind of taking a chance uh use at your own risk let me put that disclaimer on there so when i put that on there it's this rubber kind of see if you can see that you know it's kind of rubbery uh tape right and then i put it on the neck too and then it sticks on my leg and it and it doesn't want to move around so that's kind of a cool cool thing that I'm doing with my lap steels a lot of times I'll put that on there so they don't slide around when they're on my lap okay well I think that kind of covers most of this yeah I, I my favorite tone with this would probably be you know having it to where it's breaking up you know I like that kind of uh, edge of breakup sound right so when I wanted to maybe play lighter it would uh it would clean up. And as far as what I'm using for tone, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, I'm using the Kemper. That's what I use for my amp. And then I run, I actually don't use the Kemper's reverb. I, I use something called a Strymon Flint pedal that gives me tremolo and reverb. Sounds like, here's the tremolo. And then I have, it's a dual pedal. It has tremolo on one side and reverb on the other. So here's with tremolo and reverb. Tremolo off. 
off. <clears throat> Here it is without any reverb. Oop. Forgot to add delay on the Kemper. Yeah, there it is, totally dry. In open G tuning. the reverb. Maybe a little heavy on the reverb. Open D. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that little demo of the Beard Rotophonic. Uh, if you like this, uh, you know, I'm not really uh, affiliated with Beard. I just really like the guitar. But, uh, you know, head over to Beard or give them a call and see if they can make you one. It's a it's a sweet little instrument that, that uh, I really like because it's not going to ho hopefully feed back on louder gigs, you know, playing with a, a full band, drummer and all that, you know. But it still has that woody sound that a dobro would have, where sometimes the lap steel, you can't get that percussive kind of woody sound. Okay, guys, we'll see you on the next lesson. We will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.